Well, how are we doing out there? I hope you're all spot on. Thanks for watching this video. Now I've been shopping. I've been to Iceland. Come and have a look what I've got. So I was on a little walk around Iceland as you do. And I seen this was new. A luxury house special curry. Um, chicken strips, char siu pork and king prawns in a spicy curry sauce. With a two chilli rating. 400 grams and there is the serving suggestion. Now this was three pounds and 50 pence. So let's have a look at the packaging. So that, that does look good, doesn't it? I'll be honest. I like the look of that. Um, so let's have a look at the back. So there is some nutritional information there. I know quite a few people are interested in that. If you want to pause it and have a look at that, by all means, go ahead. Um, and they are all the ingredients there, look. I can just about get them on the screen. A few allergens in there. We've got wheat, soya, crustaceans, barley, mustard, and celery. So we've got water cooked seared chicken strips, 12%, chicken breast, 97%. Um, a little bit of spiel about it there. House special curry cooked seared chicken strips, cooked diced char siu pork and king prawns. In a spicy curry sauce. They are the ways to cook look. You can do it in the oven or the microwave. Cat, cat 800 watts. Cat E. Full power 9 minutes. Remove out of packaging. And pierce a film lid several times. Place the microwave plate. Cook for 5 minutes. Give it a stir. And then another 4 minutes. Or you can do it in the oven. Fan 180. Gas 5. 45 minutes. So let's get this open and see what we've got. So there's a few goodies in Iceland. I've noticed there's quite a bit of new food in. So let's have a look and see what we've got here. Oh no. I don't know if you can see in the corner there. But that basically is the bottom. It's not even covered the bottom look. It looks like it's been splurted in. And sort of been on its side like that. And then froze. Oh, I mean look there's the bottom look. You want this full, don't you? You want it about a centimetre off the top, don't you, really? Let's be honest. Because these used to be £3. They've gone up to 3 50 now. Oh, dear. So if you like this sort of a video, please give it a thumbs up. And um, if you've not subscribed to the channel, then please maybe consider subscribing. It really does help. And if you click on that bell icon, you won't miss any of my uploads. So I do thank you very much for that. So I'm going to get the knife out, give it a good pricking. I'm going to get in the microwave. So I've got all sorts of comments. I normally like to give it a good old pricking, like, you know, um, I just like doing that. But I've got a few comments in the past by just saying, just give it a few pricks. So I'll give it, I'll give it four. Because you want it to steam in there, don't you, I suppose, in the microwave and cook. So that's what I've done. So I'm going to get this in the microwave now. So it's had five minutes and we need to give it a stir. So we're going to do the old peel seal test. See if it comes off okay. Because I know in the past these give me some jib. So I'm only going to do it halfway. And it's at the moment it's passed. It's passed the old seal peel test. So we've got some, got some um, big prawns in here. Look as well. You can have a look. So it's still frozen. It's... It smells really nice, it does smell good. But there's not a lot in there, is there? There's not a lot in there to be honest. This is definitely a one person dish. Oh, I've just, um, while I was, um, my kids just brought me a picture in. I'll, I'll show you, I don't know if you want to see it or not. I'll, I'll just let you have a look at that. Um, that was me, look. Um, back in 2003 on my pass off. I'd, I'd been in the army, I'd done a few years in the army, and I got out, I spent a few years on Civvy Street. Didn't really know what I was doing, so I joined the RAF, look, and, um, and that was off on pass-off day. My mum and dad came down, and my good lady, RAF Halton. So, anyway, we'll get this, in the, we'll get this back in the, in the microwave for another four minutes. 
So let's have a look, let's get this open and have a look, see what we've got. Cause oh, there's not a lot in there, is there? Oh, look at that. Look at that, Shrink Nation. I mean, and it's very watery. Look how low it is. That's what you get, look. I'll, I'll delve into it and I'll put it in a bowl, look. So you get, how many bits of prawn do you get? One, two. You get two bits of prawn, a few bits of chicken. Sorry, yeah. Three, three prawns. Chicken. Pork. It's not a lot, is there? Onion, looks like red pepper. It's smelling good, more must have. Maybe you get a little prawn there as well. Right, I'm going to get it in this bowl. So let's get it in here. Now I know you have a curry, you have it with rice. So you've got to get rice as well. And you have it with, well, depends if it's an Indian or a, if it's a Chinese kind of style curry. I don't want to waste any of all that juice in there. I mean, I know you get a spatula on, you'll get it all out better, won't you? You can get some bread and butter as well and clean the inside of that out. Or you could just eat it out of there. There's a lot of people say in the comments to save on washing up. But you can you can reuse these as well, you know. You can wash them out and you can reuse them in the microwave. They're quite good containers, but I end up having a, a cupboard full of these. So there we are, look. That's what you get, look. So, yeah, you need rice, chips. You need the full works, don't you? So I'm going to get into that prawn. I do like prawns. Gonna get right into it, look. So nine minutes in the microwave. Mm. Oh, it's lovely. That sauce is gorgeous. Mmm, that really is nice. Sauce is lovely. There's the chicken. That king prawn was wasn't rubbery or anything like that with being in the microwave. It was just it was just it was good. Mmm. That chicken, it's nice, very tender. It's 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 they've sort of like seared it, haven't they? Chicken strips, what does it say about that chicken? It's like seared. And I'm not too keen on that chicken like that. I've had chicken from Iceland before. Yeah, seared chicken strips. And I think when they sear it, I don't know how they do it, but I don't like that flavour. Um, and I'm getting, I'm picking that flavour up. So there's the pork, the char siu pork. Mm. I thought that might have been a bit rubbery then, but it was okay. Yeah, it's nice. It's, it's a nice curry. It's 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 not a, an, an Indian or it's not a Chinese. It is tasty, mind. It really is tasty. But I wish you'd put more in it. I really do. Mm. It's very sort of creamy, that curry. Very tasty it is, I like it. It's not hot. Two chilli rain, it's more like a one. It's quite mild, but it's creamy and it is tasty and the spices are lovely in it as well. It's well seasoned. There's that seared chicken. I'm, I'm not too keen on that. I wish you wouldn't do that with this sear it. Hmm. Good. Chicken's all right though. It's it's nice. It's tasty. It is. Would I buy it again? What would I give it out of ten? It's probably an eight out of ten for flavour. It is tasty. But on that picture, you're getting a lot more. I know you're getting only like a couple of prawns, but there's more sauce. In reality than what you get on the picture but anyway 
I know the picture doesn't always reflect that, but it should do, shouldn't it? It's not too bad. It's not too bad. I just wish there was more. It is tasty. It really is. I can't stop eating it, so there you go. And it won't get wasted, that's for sure. Give it a whirl, see what you think. Apologise for talking with my mouth full. And thanks for watching. I do appreciate it. Take care, all the best, and I'll catch you on the next one.